Good morning. It's good to be with you during this Advent season. Today is December 1st, and today we launch into this season of daily prayer that I invite you to take part with me um, this during this season, during this month, as we work our way towards Christmas. And this idea of daily prayer is going to be new to many of us, but it goes back a long way. The forms that we will be using during the season of Advent were written in recent history, but they are based on ancient patterns uh, from the Celtic tradition. The way the daily prayer works is that for each week of Advent, there is a basic form and repeated prayers that we will use each day. But then the scripture readings will be different each day. And for our scripture readings each day, we will be reading actually from the Jesus Storybook Bible. It is a children's story Bible, but I love the way that the word is presented and the good news of the gospel is presented in the Jesus Storybook Bible. And so we will be reading from that source each day for our scripture reading and then hanging an associated ornament on our Jesse tree right there behind me as um, we mark the days as we get closer and closer to Christmas. And so we begin this morning because it is the first week of Advent with lighting our first. Oh. And candles are always just a little bit tricky, but there's our first candle for Advent and we come now into this time of daily prayer for the first week of Advent. At times you will see words on the screen that will invite you to participate and um, to speak out loud if you're in a place that you can do that. Otherwise, of course, to read out loud inside your head as we say to the children. Let us come now into this time of prayer on this first day of December. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. And the spirit, the breath of God, was hovering over the waters. Let us pray. Lord of the morning, of dawn chorus, rising sun, midst on water, Lord of the noontime, of chattering voices, laughter and fun, sparkling water, everyone, Lord of the evening, of quiet breeze, setting sun, gentle waters, day that's done. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens and from the lips of children ordained praise. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Creative God, breath of all life, through whom all things are created and sustained, all sons and daughters, flocks and herds, all birds of the air and fish of the sea, you walked this earth as child and creator you touched the soil, quenched your thirst, embraced this world, brought life and light, love and laughter into dark and death-filled lives. Creative God, breath of all life, through whom all things are created and sustained, we bring to you our sacrifice of a contrite and willing heart. O come thou wisdom from on high, who orders all things mightily, to us the path of knowledge show, and teach us in her ways to go. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come again and with us ever dwell.
Thou didst spring from on high And cause thy light on us to rise Disperse the gloomy clouds of night In this dark shadow blue Rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. Psalm 20, verses 6 through 8. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He answers him from his holy heaven with the saving power of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. The word of the Lord. I invite us now to a time of silence and reflection during this time you can read and reflect on the words that have been read and I will leave them up there for you. You can watch the candlelight or if you have lit your own candle, watch that candlelight there or you can just simply enjoy a moment of peace and calm in a time where there is little peace and calm to be found.
May this eternal truth be always in our hearts, that the God who breathed this world into being, placed stars into the heavens, and designed a butterfly's wing, is the God who entrusted his life to the care of ordinary people, became vulnerable that we might know how strong is the power of love, a mystery so deep it is impossible to grasp, a mystery so beautiful it is impossible to ignore. And so we come then into our time in the Word, and we begin with the chapter in the Children's Storybook Bible that is called The Story and the Song. God wrote, I love you. He wrote it in the sky and on the earth and under the sea. He wrote his message everywhere. Because God created everything in his world to reflect him like a mirror, to show us what he is like, to help us to know him to make our hearts sing. The way a kitten chases her tail, the way red poppies grow wild, the way a dolphin swims. And God put it into words too and wrote it in a book called the Bible. Now, some people think the Bible is a book of rules telling you what you should and shouldn't do. The Bible certainly does have some rules in it. They show you how life works best. But the Bible isn't mainly about you and what you should be doing. It is about God and what he has done. Other people think the Bible is a book of heroes, showing you people, showing you people that you should copy. Well, the Bible does have some heroes in it, as we will soon find out, but most of the people in the Bible aren't heroes at all. They make some big mistakes and sometimes on purpose. They get afraid and run away, and at times they are just downright mean. No, the Bible isn't a book of rules or a book of heroes. The Bible is most of all a story. It is an adventure story about a young hero who comes from a far country to win back his lost treasure. It is a love story about a brave prince who leaves his palace, his throne, who leaves everything to rescue the one he loves. It's like the most wonderful of fairy tales that has come true in a real life. You see, the best thing about this story is it's true. There are lots of stories in the Bible, but all the stories are telling one big story. The story of how God loves his children and comes to rescue them. It takes the whole Bible to tell this story. And at the center of the story, there is a baby. Every story in the Bible whispers his name. He is like the missing piece in a puzzle. The piece that makes all the other pieces fit together and suddenly you can see a beautiful picture. And this is no ordinary baby. This is the child upon whom everything would depend. This is the child who would one day, but wait, our story starts where all good stories start. Right at the very beginning. And so today we add to our Jesse tree and ornament the Bible to remind us that the Bible tells us the story, most of all, of God, and of his love, and of how that love is expressed in Jesus.
your purposes for your glory teach us Lord full obedience holy reverence true humility time comes to our time of prayer today and our time of intercessions as we pray for the people that we know, the people we love and situations in our world, I'd like to invite you to imagine a pool of water or a lake or a pond and you throw a stone into the pond and it creates ripples, concentric circles that come out from that spot in the middle. And as we pray, we're going to start at the center and move our way outward. I will leave space within the prayer for you to silently or out loud lift up those names and situations that you know of in all of these different categories as we move our way through this circle, through the circles of this, um, of, the, of the circle of the water in the pond. And so we come to this time of prayer. Let us pray. We pray firstly for those who are closest to us, our immediate family and our closest friends for their health, their needs, their joys, and their fears. In silence now we pray. God of creation, God of salvation, hear the prayers of our hearts. We now pray for extended family and friends who we might not see each week for their love, for their concern, and for their well-being. We come into a time of prayer. God of creation, God of salvation, Hear the prayers of our hearts. 
And as the ripples reach their furthest point, we pray for the world and for all of its people, for the needs of this week and for their future. In silence, we pray. God of creation, God of salvation, who speak to, speaks to us through thunder and whisper, who loves us as if there were but one of us to love. Hear the prayers of our hearts. Lord, thou hast given us thy word for a light to shine upon our path. Grant us so to meditate on that word and to follow its teaching, that we may find in it the light that shines more and more until the perfect day through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Have a blessed day and feel the hope of God with you each moment of it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.